G'day guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 10 on a virtual machine on Hyper-V. So I've actually got this running in a um, little test network, which I'll leave the link down below on how to configure that. So then it's isolated from your production network. So this test network's just using an RRAS server, and that allows me to isolate any changes I do into its own testing network. So pretty much I've just um, opened Hyper-V and gone and create a new virtual machine. And I'm going to call this Windows 10 Testing 2020. We're going to use a Generation 2 and 4,000 megabytes of RAM. And I'm going to connect it to my internal network, which is my test network and have it create its own virtual hard disk and store it in this location which is on my um, SSD that I use for storing virtual hard disks. And I'm going to install a operating system from here. So I've actually got um, version 19.03 which was updated July 2019. Then that's configured it, but what I'm going to do before I actually start it up is I'm going to give it more processor cores because one's not enough. I'm just going to give it five, which I know is a weird number, but anyway. So then when we right click on it and press start, I think I may have missed the opportunity. Just turn it on again. So we'll have to click any key for it to boot to the USB or CD or whatever, we've got it attached as an ISO image so it appears to be a CD according to Hyper-V. So, we're going to change the language, time and currency to English Australia, because that's where I am. I'm going to go install now. So now it's going to ask me what version of Windows. I actually want Windows 10 Pro. This one has a bunch of different versions, Education or Pro, depending on which one you want. But I just want Pro. I'm accepting the license terms. And I like to go custom. This is if you're upgrading from, let's say, Windows 7 to Windows 10. And I go custom, give it the device. Sometimes if you're um, installing on a hard drive that's already been had stuff installed on it, it will have partitions already there and you may need to delete them if you want to start from scratch. So now this is just going to go through and do the install, which I will speed up. So then once it's done its stuff, it's going to reboot and ask you some questions. So if it's going to say, what country are you in? I'm in Australia. Let's just say yes for Australia. What's the keyboard layout? I've got a US keyboard, so I just select that. If you've got a different one or you have more than one, you can add in second layouts, but we don't, so that's fine. So now I've just sped this up a bit. So now you have the option to use either a home account or an organisational account. If you want to sign in with an Office 365 account, that's where you'd select an organisational account. But we just want to use a personal account. So that also works with a Hotmail or Outlook account. But we just want to do a local account. So what we're going to do is just select set up an account for personal use. <coughs> and then it's going to ask us to sign in with a Microsoft account. We don't actually want to sign in with a Microsoft account. What we're going to do is select an offline account, which means it's just an account on the computer. But if you want to use a Microsoft account, that's going to sync to the cloud and stuff. But that's not what we want to do. So now we're going to click offline account and it's going to load up. What it's going to do is going to give us an, another opportunity to sign up with a Microsoft account, but we're just going to select limited experience because we don't want a Microsoft account. And now we're going to say who's going to use the thing. This is just username, so we're just going to call it user. 
as you can see down in the bottom left it says oh do you want to sign in with a Microsoft account but we still don't um, I'm going to set it up with no password so we're just going to leave it blank and click next and now it's just loading up asks us if we want to keep activity history which we don't do we want to use a digital assistant which is Cortana which we don't now this is your privacy settings if you want to disable any of these privacy stuff so this is how they actually track you whether they use an advertising ID they have some speech recognition location services and that sort of stuff you can just turn all this stuff off I don't really care so I'm just gonna leave it on but um, if you are one of those sort of people that don't want people to track you just untick them all and then click accept And then it's going to spin around for a second, which for your viewing pleasure I've sped up for you. So that was about a minute, but now it's six seconds. And then it's going to go through, and now you're into Windows. So what I recommend doing as soon as you start opening Windows, or once you've installed Windows, I mean, you can click there and see what's installing at the moment. But what I reckon the best idea is to update windows so the best way to update windows is if you go to home down there and you can go update and security but if that's not where you are you can right click on the start menu go to settings then scroll down and go updates and security and then go check for updates that's basically going to run through the updates and install them and update your computer and get it all up to date and that's basically it now I've installed Windows 10 pretty much what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to update the computer get it all updated and then back up the virtual hard disk so then I have something to refer back on and I'm going to use this for my testing computer so basically I'm going to use this in the future videos which you'll see soon and then when I've done it I'm just going to revert back to the original state so then if I break anything, it doesn't really matter. I just revert, revert back. And um, yeah, so if you want to see more, like, subscribe, keep an eye out for new videos. I'm going to do some stuff on Azure, probably a bit more stuff with managing Windows 10 and Office 365, Microsoft 365 and that sort of stuff. So if you're interested, like, subscribe, and um, I'll see you later.